Yafit Kato, actor in Homicide, Life on the Street, Live and Let Die, An Alien, dies at 81. The New Yorker received an Emmy nom for portraying Idi Amin, but passed on playing Lando Calrissian and Jean-Luc Picard. Yafit Kato, the compelling character actor who portrayed Police Lieutenant Al Giardello on Homicide, Life on the Street, a space traveler and alien and a supervillain in Live and Let Die, has died. He was 81. In a message posted on Facebook, Kato's wife, Tessie Sinahan, said that the actor died Monday. I'm saddened and still in shock of the passing of my husband Yafit of 24 years, she wrote. A presence at 6 foot 4 and more than 240 pounds in his prime, Kato also was known for his eerie Emmy nominated performance as the brutal Ugandan dictator Idi Amin in Raid on Entebbe, a 1976 NBC movie. In 1969, the Harlem native stepped in on Broadway for James Earl Jones in The Great White Hope portraying the boxer based on heavyweight champ Jack Johnson for about eight months in the original Tony-winning production. He was memorable in supporting roles as resistance fighter William Lachlan and Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Running Man, 1987, and FBI agent Alonzo Mosley in the comedy Midnight Run, 1988, starring Robert De Niro and Charles Grodin. Cotto also wrote, directed and starred as a California highway patrolman who gets involved with a motorcycle gang in The Limit, 1972, and starred with Harvey Keitel and Richard Pryor in Paul Schrader's Blue Collar, 1978, a heist drama about three autoworkers who steal from their corrupt union. In his signature role, Cotto was superb as the no nonsense, Baltimore raised Alphonse G. Giardello in 122 episodes over seven seasons, 1993 to 2000, of the acclaimed NBC drama Homicide. Life on the Street. Yafit has great credibility, a simple strength, a quiet passion. Homicide executive producer Barry Levinson once said. His portrayal of the half black, half Italian lieutenant reflected his own multicultural background. While Cotto was in production on Alien, Irvin Kirshner, who had directed Raid on Entebbe, approached the actor about appearing as Lando Calrissian in another movie set in space, The Empire Strikes Back. Cotto, though, turned down the opportunity for what would prove to be Star Wars immortality. The part, of course, went to Billy D. Williams, opting instead to play prison trusty Dickie Coombs opposite Warden Robert Redford in Brubaker, 1980. I wanted to get back down on Earth, he said in a 2003 space film after having done Alien, then I'd be typed. Once you get one of those big blockbuster hits, you better have some other big blockbuster hits to go with it too, and be Harrison Ford, because if you don't, you place yourself right out of the business.